Hey guys, welcome back to Camping with the Confers. I'm Shelly. And I am Mike. So today we are at Stroud's Run in Athens, Ohio, but that's not what this video is going to be about. We are actually just wrapping up the weekend here for Mom's Weekend. Mm -hmm. Spend at the weekend OU, because our daughter's down here going to school. Yep, and right now... We are packed up, we're loaded up, we're hooked up, and we're headed to... Indian Lake State Park to uh, view the solar eclipse and we are going to be in 100% totality so mm -hmm. we are super excited and we're going to take you guys with us and show you what it's going to be like. Yeah so stick around we will show you whatever it is that we see I don't know this is the first total eclipse I've ever seen so we'll see what it looks like. Yes yeah, side note though I just have to uh, give a little shout out again to the Strouds Run State Park um, in Athens, it's amazing. There are no full, there are no hookups at all, no None. electric. Nope. But we back into this creek. It's very quiet. Just show them real quick how busy this campground is, and this background of this creek. Ooh. So this is actually the busiest we've ever seen it here, and there's about ten people. This is actually friends of ours' daughter that's in town or that goes to school down here. You got a camper down here. Spin around. Oh. And we got Beryl right here with us. Their daughter yeah. goes to school with our daughter. So, yeah, and, and so that's really about it. Can you see the creek that we're backed into? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can see it back there. Yep. Okay, so let's get on the road. We have about a three hour three drive. Three ish hour drive to get there. So, it's a beautiful let's travel day, though. Get after it. Let's go. All right, see you guys. Here's why you can't just trust your Google Map GPS. We're pulling our camper right now, and look at that turn. There is no way. Michael, you're, you're always up for a challenge. So this is the corner they want us to take right here. Take a sharp right turn onto Joneswood Road. I'm pretty good, but I ain't that good good. Mm, I'll say negative. Oh, is this, this isn't damage from the tornado though. It, it? might be. Or I know they had to there. take all of that stuff somewhere. Welcome to Historic Indian Lake. So unfortunately, just a few weeks ago, this area, Indian Lake area, um, was the- Hit by a tornado, yeah. Yeah, it was a place for, yeah. It was pretty bad tornadoes. Uh, so we'll see if we can see any of that footage, but there has been a lot of great effort in helping to get this area cleaned up, thankfully. In fact, we didn't even really know for a while if they were even gonna have the campground open for the eclipse viewing, but uh, a lot of people chipped in and got things ready. Oh, and just seeing the debris everywhere. So devastating. State Farm trailer still there. In half a mile, turn left. What does it say? Campers only. Eclipse viewing at Old Field Beach. Okay, well, we are campers. This place is packed. So we passed our site, so now we have to drive all the way around because it loops and now we're going the wrong direction. We'll get it. This place is packed full for a Sunday. Everybody here for the eclipse. Hello, love. Okay, so very important information. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors have an adorable corgi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the corgis. It's so cute. <laughs> Shelly's 
checking out our power box. Looks like there's some leaves and such, but... That's always fun. Not too bad. Good thing is there's no, like, dead tree limbs overhanging. And you got plenty of room to back up, so we'll be able to come way past the pad. Very good. You're looking good. Yep, here, um, you want to come driver's side just a little bit, or passenger side, sorry, just a little bit. You're like right on the edge, though, so really you're okay. Looks good, looks good. Do you have your Level Mate Pro on? I do. Okay, you can keep coming back. Just come back as far as you want. And we're clear. Coming back to the other side, check where your stairs would be. I mean, your stairs are gonna be in the grass, so it's fine. You can keep coming back, that way you can get the truck out of the way. And we have to have room for uh, Elena and Michael to park. Yeah, that's, can I still go? Yep. Looks like my tire's about to drop off the pad. Mm -hmm. No. Um, I mean, you're about six inches off the pad right now. Well, my driver's side needs to go up to. Good. So we just talked to our friends, Eric and Jen. So we're set up here at uh, Indian Lake. Eric and Jen, what are they? Jen and Eric. Jen Eric. The three o'clock sun should hit right about there in the clearing of those trees. So I think we got the perfect spot to, uh, to get some good footage. Yes, I'm super excited. Now we gotta go check in because they have the regular check-in station closed and you have to go up to the commissary. So let's get after it. All right. What's that? It's a Schmidt's food truck. That's what it is. Do they know who you are? Uh, they should know who I am because I am the cream puff eating queen champion, first time champion, right? right? So if you missed that video, we'll link to it. If you want to see me win the cream puff eating contest, <laughs> I shouldn't be so proud. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so we turn got left. set up. We got to turn left. We're gonna turn left. It's kind of late though. Six o'clock and we're hungry. So we are going to go check out the Cranberry Resort. And I don't know what that car's doing. Do what they want. Okay. So what we have, special guest, Elena. In half a mile, turn left onto right. State Route 235. All right, let's go. Steve, off that spillway. Day. Sunny skies so far. Yeah, it's nice. Fingers hopefully, crossed. Uh, hopefully it stays that way when we get closer to eclipse time. But it's like 9:30 now. It's supposed to hit us. I think at three something. We're supposed to have the total eclipse. Uh, I think yeah, like 3:05 so. or something like that. So I did read that. Uh, I don't know if I said this earlier that the last total eclipse 
is it in this area? It was it yeah. 1807 or 1800 something? 1800 and something, yeah. And I feel like that wasn't as long as what this one is supposed to be. But it's nice to have the campgrounds packed full for yeah. the first time this summer. Yes, yes. And, it uh, well, it's not even summer yet, but it feels right. like summer. Yeah, it's actually a nice warm day. It's going to be like 70 today. Yeah. So we're going to walk around, enjoy some sunshine. Heading up to the lake. I have it in view now. Yeah, scope out a little bit of the lake while we're walking the dogs and then get set up for the the eclipse party. I don't know what that's exactly going to be, but we we're going to have a party. We're going to have a party. <laughs> I'd like to eat one of these sites at Indian Lake. Nice lake view. I don't know that we could ask for nicer weather. I know, right now. Hopefully, it doesn't, see, that's all she wants. Nope. Come on, Dave. No, nope. get out of the water. Whoo, trying to corral her. Hopefully, those clouds stay over there. Mm-hmm. This is really soft sand. What do you think the chances are? Of? Of it staying sunny so we can see it. Uh, we're in Ohio, 50-50. It's about as good as it gets. All right, give me the skinny. Um, so they just sent a forecast update for the area. It's now 1241. And basically, earlier forecast models brought some worry about whether spectators would see the eclipse because of cloudy skies. Current models show that it shouldn't be a concern. Yay! The skies were cloudy this morning but began to break by 10. The solar eclipse starts shortly after 2 p.m. and skies will be partly cloudy by then. So, good news. They're saying it should be, at least for here, we should have pretty good nice skies. And clear. Yep, we'll see. Countdown's on. Red sweating it. Lena, Michael, you excited? I'm excited. You're excited? Is that your excited face? This is it. All right. <laughs> All right, so Indian Lake Campground is hosting a watch party. So we just walked up to the uh, pavilion here, I guess is what they call it. Yeah, multi purpose building. We want to be back at our campsite for the actual viewing of the eclipse, but we wanted to come and see what things that they have up here for the viewing part. It's supposed to be food, games, Check out all the hubbub. Bub. Let's go inside, see what okay. they got. So they got a nice little setup up there. Yeah, so we did the little crafts, we painted the rocks, and they have bracelets we can make, and they had like uh, sun chips and sunny delight, and you know, all themed snacks. Right. So, um, and they have the games out there. So you're gonna get ready for viewing. We now have 25 minutes before it starts. 25 minutes. What you guys doing down there? We are having snacks and observing the moon and the sun and rating our craziness, seeing if we're losing our marbles. Seven. You're at a seven right now? Yeah. All right. What's your normal? What's your baseline? Six. Six. <laughs> like, who, who is it? There's a possibility we'll see Merc a comet, but we should be able to see oh, Saturn, comet. Venus. Mercury. I don't think Jupiter? Uh, yeah, they Jupiter. Were four. They also said that there was a slight chance of northern lights being visible. What? Yeah. Yep. From here? A yeah. slight, slight chance. So they said just be looking. And that would have been the nice part, Michael, if we would have went to uh, down at um, the open area, either by the beach or the open field. Because we're not going to have as We have a great view of the sun, but not of the open sky. That's true. I can't look up there anymore. Whew. 
When did they change their name? So we're about 50% in. I mean, it is starting to get a little bit darkish here. Uh, it's 2.44, so we are 15 minutes away from totality. Uh, the temperature is the same. It has not dropped. And everything just seems really normal right now. Normal, except for these two back here. I don't know, they're bored and I'm not sure what they're doing. Almost there. Maybe they're 20 minutes or so. It's not super dark yet though. There is a cool breeze blowing. It's like, when looking through the binoculars, it looks like you're just looking at a crescent moon. Yeah. Red's freaking out again. You can hear other dogs too. Mm-hmm. But dingoes, it's like chill. Dingo don't care. Uh, temperature is still the same. Can't really see it through a regular lens. Oh yeah, just a little sliver left. Come here, buddy. Glasses off. Oh my god. Turn your flash off. Oh, how much? Now look. Off? Oh my this is crazy. <gasps> this is nuts. Wow. That's actually cool. Oh, like I wanna cry. <laughs> it's crazy. Look, my solar light, my lights turned on back there. It's crazy that it's like a sunset. <gasps> how was that happening? I mean, oh my the sun gosh! There, and then it's all yeah back there. It's like a sunset. Yeah, this is the horizon. Oh my gosh, guys! This is the coolest thing I think I've ever witnessed. Uh, I mean, this tops horseback riding in Yellowstone. I'm just emotional. Oh look, you can see, see stars, or that's a planet. Oh man, it's like I want people to be able to, you can't see what I'm seeing. I know. It looks like a moon through the camera. No, you can't, I can't see the rain. Oh, I just barely, yeah. So the center is black. Look at, look at Elena on the bottom, see how there's that one sparkly piece of it? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. This is... I still hear birds. This is crazy. Hear everyone celebrating. Red is still crazy. Oh, you know what else we can do? We can, here, try this, Michael. You can take the, uh, you can take the, the covers off of the, of the binoculars, of the binoculars and, cause you're allowed to look through it now. Just rip it. Yep, don't be gentle. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go ahead now. Oh, wow. What do you think? What is that? I don't know the bottom piece. Yeah, red. it's red. Yeah, it's getting bigger, too. Here, will you get me? Oh, yeah. What is that red piece? It's a diamond. Is that the diamond? 
Michael, you gotta see it through the binoculars. Imagine flying right now. Are you calling that little red part at the bottom the diamond? We don't know. Oh, that stupid plane. Oh. Wow. And now it's daylight again. And now it's starting to... That's crazy. Michael's been watching it up there. And here comes the sun. Crazy. And now, Just see? Just like that. All right, guys, so if you didn't get the opportunity to watch that in person, these videos and photos do it absolutely no justice. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, it was just super cool. I can't even put it into words, and I know the video isn't, like you said, isn't gonna do it justice. We were in the path of totality for three hours and 54 Something seconds, like three that, yeah. minutes. Three I minutes, said three hours. you said three hours. Three minutes and 54 seconds, and it was eerie and amazing all, all the at same the same time. time. Yeah, red is still not recovered. Yeah, he's, he's the still only acting one super that's... weird. Dingo's yeah. fine, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, we did feel a temperature drop. Um, I didn't hear like crickets or things like that, no, which I was kind of looking for. We did see a couple of planets, yep, um, but no comet that. You know, they said there was a chance we could see a comet or a meteor or something like that and possibility of seeing the northern lights, but we didn't get to see those either. No, but we're, I'm just super thankful because the weather leading up to this day has been on and off on it's going to be cloudy, it's going to rain. Hope you can hear me through this boat noise, boats going by. Uh, but we got lucky. It, yeah. was, it was sunny and now the sun's coming back up. In fact, we're still in part of the eclipse right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not fully um, recovered yet, so... But we hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, if you could give us a thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, we would really appreciate that too. It's free. You just hit that subscribe button. Yeah, and if you guys got to see it, leave us a comment. What did uh, what you guys think about it? I, you know, we thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, or if maybe you haven't seen this one, maybe you've seen others in the past. Yeah. Uh, I've seen partials before, but never a total. So yeah, until next week, guys. Keep your adventures going. Bye, guys. See ya.